So today, guys, we are covering a story from Leeds about a man named Wakas Butt from Beeston, styled himself as a gangster and drove a high-performance Audi RS3, carrying the number plate LS11 boss, which is thought to refer to his self-appointed status in the postcode area where he lived. In December 2016, as previously reported on South Leeds Life, he was among seven men made the subject of gang injunctions in response to a tit-for-tat feud that brought fear to the streets of Beston with a total of 94 offences over a two-year period in roughly a square mile. These included robberies, assaults, kidnappings, and a large number of arsons and criminal damage against properties and vehicles. Butt was convicted after a trial at Leeds Crown Court of Conspiracy to possess a firearm with intent to endanger life in relation to a shooting in Maud Place reported here on 28th October 2017. The intended target, a 22-year-old man, had been sitting in his BMW car parked on Maud Place when a black Volkswagen Passat pulled up and a sawn-off shotgun was fired at the BMW damaging the bonnet and windscreen. The victim, who was not injured, repeatedly rammed the Passat and sped off from the scene. The Passat was later found burnt out in Cardinal Square. Shizan Shabir, aged 26, of Old Mill View, Dewsbury, and Ershad Badar, aged 24, of Roliffe Road, High Wycombe, were also convicted of the same offence as a result of an investigation by West Yorkshire Police's Firearms Prevent Team. An Audi RS3 and Volkswagen Golf R, together worth 70,000 tons, were set on fire in the gated yard of a house in Norborough Road during an incident where one of the offenders brandished an axe and made threats. The Audi belonged to the father of the man targeted in the Maud Place shooting days earlier. Wakas Butt was arrested the following afternoon in Bradford driving his red Audi RS3, carrying the number plate LS11 Boss. Shabir, Kayum and Malik were also arrested from the car. An axe matching the description of the one used in the Sheffield incident was found in the boot. Despite the group's attempts to cover their tracks, painstaking research of the men's mobile phone locations, vehicle movements and checks on CCTV built up a clear, evidential picture that led to their convictions following a month-long trial. Wakas Butt and Shabir were both sentenced to 21 years in prison with five years extended license. Badar and Malik were jailed for eight years and Kayum was given six years custody. When the gang injunctions were imposed in December 2016, Wakas could not be named in publicity due to other ongoing proceedings. The orders placed strict limitations on the subjects with a power of arrest for any breaches. To date, there have been a total of nine breaches that have resulted in the defendants being brought back to the county court for further sanctions. Butt was previously sentenced to three weeks in prison for breaching his gang bow. A total of 94 offences between March 2014 and June 2016 were believed to be linked to the feud, with 87 of those occurring within roughly a square mile of Beeston, the most serious being the attempted murder of a man in a shooting in Middleton Crescent in October 2015. 